there will be no doubt who the best fighter in the world is. You know, those those guys, yeah, they beat him in decisions, but none of them finished Tyron Woodley. I go out there and finish Tyron Woodley, Woodley. I cement myself as the best welterweight in the world. Me and Tyron Woodley genuinely hate each other, and we want to kill each other. If you got any questions? You got any questions? Can touch gloves? No surprise that Covington doesn't want to touch gloves. You may have seen him do that 5-4-1 to the camera, representing Portland, Oregon. Tyron Woodley. See here, some nice body kicks by Covington Land. Another one. And right here, you see Woodley jump off the fence. Pettis style. Left high kick by Covington. Okay, and then here we go, one, gentlemen. two down the middle. Textbook. Right here is a high cross takedown for Covington. And that really just started all these elbows that you're seeing right here. Sliced open on the other side. So both sides of the eyes are sliced. Let's see what Woodley wakes up about before they hurt at the end. Right hand, left hook, left elbow for Covington and a lot of the clinches, more rib kicks. That's it. Don't run off, be, be gentle, be gentle, be gentle. Marty Fake Newsman, Street Judas, we got unfinished business. There's nowhere to run and there's nowhere to hide. How about that Colby Covington fella, huh? Bro. Dude, everybody better shut the fuck up now. He's for real. Brazil, you're a dog. All you filthy animals suck. I got one thing to say. This is my division now. Dana, I'm si a size 32 waist. Get that belt ready for me. You know, all the haters and all the doubters and everybody said you wouldn't do it, you know, being able to kind of shut them up, basically. Yeah, it just I said everything I was going to do, you know, I, I don't think there's very many media in here that picked me to win this fight. I think I myself and a lot of fans have been guilty of giving Colby Covington a pass for a long time because we're like, okay, it's a gimmick, he's playing it up, it's it's low brow and it's cheesy and it's distasteful, but... Fresh blood, baby, I'm coming for it all in the best this division! If you got something to say, come see me, you threw nearly 600 strikes tonight. You attempted 18 takedowns, took him down 10 times. How did this fight play out relative to your expectations coming in? And as I've said before, He's not willing to go where I'm willing to go in order to be the champion. Tomorrow night and noon. You can say whatever you want, but it's always different when they cross octagon. So I'm going out there to defend my title. I'm going to destroy Kamar Usman. I'm going to put it on him so bad. And that shovel that he's never used against any top guys you watch me knock out on this video, he'll put that baby away. It all comes down to this. Big right right hand Usman. Yeah. On the offense. Oh! Big oh, elbow he hit Tyron with a big elbow. Here, Woodley's trying to get his respect back, but he can't. Oh, oh he he's They're both hurting. Everything about this performance is impressive. I agree. He's won every single round. That's it. We got a new champ, folks. And new UFC undisputed welterweight champion of the world, Cameroon, the Nigerian nightmare. The UFC 258 main event between Gilbert Burns and Kamaru Usman is off after Burns' cornerman tested positive for COVID. Per UFC sources, the plan is to reschedule the bout for a later date. And now, on six days notice, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal will be stepping in. 20 pounds in six days. That's all I'm going to say. It was rough, but I did it. And now stepping up on short notice to take on a monster like Kamara Usman, a man that seems almost unbeatable. I mean, this is just incredible, John. This man just gets better and better with every single out. Oh, nice entry though. Look at that. And still! Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Tonight represents our second pay-per-view of the new year. Between the world's two best welterweights, they are Kamara Usman and Gilbert Burns. Still the best welterweight in the world, and they're a 
is a new record holder. We got this little street uh, street thug. The only reason this man took the fight is because he was on six days notice and he had a built-in excuse. Guess what? It's not done. Because this time, I'm going to finish your ass. I'm going to bust your face up, break more bones than last time. Word. Remember this face. Word. Word, my brother. He's out cold. Look, you see him try to get up. He's trying here. Hammer fist and the hammer him. fist yep. shut the lights out for good. Her effing winter. Oh, 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 oh. Two spectacular knockouts. Hey, we've been both talking about the first round. Oh. Both out of nowhere. And this is what it's all about, right? Yeah. What we just in his daughter. Colby Covington was in the building. Does that seem like the fight to make now? I mean, obviously the history there. It's the fight to make. Yeah, he's the number one guy in the world. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Let's go back a little bit. I think I'm ready to call him the greatest fighter right now because if you look what he has done since he's came to the UFC it's been nothing short of incredible Cameroon, the Nigerian nightmare. Who's I might not be the best pure wrestler in the world but when it comes to mixing this shit up I'm the fucking best welterweight on the planet right now I'm sure you saw Kobe Covington cage side the former UFC interim welterweight champion Kobe Covington most popular guy in the building Joe <laughs> Is that the right fight for you? Can I remember really What's that? Can I close up here? Of course you can. I want to fuck that guy up so bad. We only talk on Twitter. We don't talk. We don't talk in person. We talk on Twitter. We just look down. Yeah, talk to everybody else. Brazil wasn't ready for me, so Dana and had to put in the U.S. Shut your bitch ass up. Yeah, when I asked to fight him, he didn't want to fight me. You've used your time to promote me, that's why you're a mark, bitch. Yo, yo, you wanna talk, you talk to Junior, settle down, later. Junior. See, we lift. You ain't ready for prime time yet, son. You know, he's not impressive, he sucks at fighting, and December 14th, I'm gonna expose him. There was a lot of things behind the scenes that were said, a lot of things that were done, to see how mentally strong I am. It's time! The challenger, Colby Hamaru, the Nigerian. Self protect you when I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch, do it now. God bless. Kamara put a shot with his hands early on. Solid right hand. And a good right hand. Oh man, good shots by both men. Over the top by Cole. Hold it.
a tremendous pressure game. I do like his alignment with MMA Masters. What did you think of Covington's performance against T-Wood? Uh, this was another classic Colby Covington performance that was backed by motivation, hunger, energy, uh, a willingness to try to get back and, and, and try to get another shot at Kamaru Usman. Um, you know, again, I, I'm just blown away by his ability to keep a pace for 20, 25 minutes and actually get stronger as the fight goes on. It, it's unbelievable. Um, and I thought it was a really clean performance from him. D did he actually get hit with big shots? I don't know if he did. This was the fight to make. They have to settle the score here. And I'm so glad it's coming together. I own this division now, so, you know, I'm ready to take my throne. There needs to be a rematch, man. The fans want it. Dana wants it. The only person that doesn't want it is Marty. His striking's getting better. He freaking knocked out Colby Covington, TKO'd and broke his jaw. Mm -hmm. And then he beat Burns with a jab. Anybody who says he's boring is an idiot. Tyron Woodley said. If we get in the octagon and I can throw no punches, Every no knees, day. no takedowns, no submission, I would kick your ass and just rest it flat out. And no! And then what did Bastardall say? I'm gonna bust your face up, break more bones than last time. Word. Pearl the oh! What did Colby Covington say? December 14th, only on pay-per-view. I'm detaching this little clown from my coattails. And it's been officially announced. Kamaru Usman versus Colby Covington is finally put together for November. When you have two of the baddest dudes in the world in their prime facing off for the world title. Colby Covington! You're dead! You're dead! Am you I? got unfinished business! This has been a fight that you have wanted for a long time. It's finally here. You stay off the track when the train's coming through, Junior. Don't matter if it's a Trump train or the Colby train. Get out the way! I am going to side with Kamaru Usman. I just think the improvements he's made and the activity level gives him a slight edge in this matchup. He has tied George St. Pierre's record for successive UFC welterweight wins. You're in a unique position to not just defend your title, but to be recognized as the greatest welterweight of all time. That man looks like the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world right hey. now. Tamaya. Oh, Michael Bisping. Uh. The tension of a UFC championship main event, fans or otherwise. UFC! Welterweight Championship of the World!